Okay, that was easy as pie, just like anticipated. Got a few uh, hits, taken a few hits, mainly lost health, a couple of minor injuries, but we got a ton of stuff to sell, which is good. So I'm going to head to Whitehoff, turn it in. No longer suffering unhold attacks. Let's check. Prices are pretty good. 300 is pretty good. So we're going to sell all our junk. Well, not our junk, but all the stuff that we want to sell, which is basically the treasure. Weapons are not selling particularly high, so we're going to keep the weapons for now. Wait until we come across a place that's mustering troops or has raided um, raided supply lines. We need tools. What's this? Kill marauding grease skins. No, not going to do that. It could be goblins. We don't want to deal with goblins at the moment. We're not quite strong enough yet. We don't have the armor. And the unhold fur padding. Because we couldn't find any bloody unholds. Unholds, five of them. Are they just normal though? Yeah, they're just normal unholds. Is it worth killing them? I think it is for the XP. No one's particularly in threat of dying. You can come off. You can go in the front. You can come on there. Let's go kill these unholds. There's only five of them. Okay, we're going to target this one down because he's right in the middle of everyone. Massive amount of damage from that sword, very nice. I was hoping for a kill there. A bit irritating. Kill this one. And then start working on this one. Massive miss from him. You can't attack anyone else, so might as well get this guy. Same for you. Lots and lots of misses on the unholds. For no particular reason, just attacks really low at the moment. Well, not really low, but isn't as high as I'd like it to be. Shit, that took half his health off. Blimey.
This guy needs to die because he's because he's right next to this guy who's injured. He just lost half his health in one hit for some reason. Good, he's retreating. Unhold loop, let's head to Shrykov. Finish the journey to Shrykov. They don't have any tools or anything, so. And selling prices are dire. Contracts. Defend Shrykov from his raiding parties for 2000. I reckon we can do that. Oh no, we're a bit beat up, actually, after those two fights. Especially you, you took a massive hit there for some reason. So Sniper can go on for you instead. Apart from that everyone's good, right? Yeah. Just a tiny bit beat up. Well, we're not going to do that because we don't have the health for it and we don't have the, we're running out of tools. Yeah, we could sit around waiting for it, but... Well, by the time they arrive, we'd be healed. Yeah, I suppose we would be, actually. Yeah, we could probably do the defending one. We can do wild beasts. Five packs of roving beasts. Come on, then, let's do this defend, um, defend Schweikoff for 2k. Two skull contract for 2k should be easy enough. And because we have to camp until they arrive. Ah, oh, it's goblins. Oh god, I can't be bothered to do fucking green skins. Do fucking gobbos. I didn't know it'd be goblins. Goblins are an absolute nightmare. Oh, let's just have a go. It's 15 of them and they're on high ground. Let's just wait to see what they do. Of course, they've got the high ground. What would make this infinitely harder? Oh yeah, them having the high ground. I think we're just going to leave this one actually. Because of their position, no other reason. Goblins are a nightmare enough as it is when you're not going up a massive fucking mountain. So we're just going to abandon this contract, we'll leave the city to burn. Fuck Schweikoff, who cares. Didn't think it would be goblins, I should have read it. Just to check what we're fighting. But I didn't realise that on top of that, it being goblins, I mean, the RNG on the map design completely fuck us. It's a shame they had a couple of heroes there, but goblin hit champions are like orc champions, they don't matter, their weapons are shit. What you want is human champions. Human champions carry great gear like hedge knights and things like that. And undead as well, undead champions carry great gear usually. Either great shields or great um, two-handed weapons is what you want.
How did that do for our morale? Fine on the morale front. What's our relationship with Schweikoff? We're cold, isn't it? Schweikoff is neutral, so if we abandon this contract, we should be fine. Schweikoff is just unfriendly. Yeah, let's go. Fuck this. Fuck the goblins. You can come off now. You've only got bruised legs. You can go back on. And you've only got a bruised leg as well, right? So you can come off. You can move to there again. You can move to there again. You can move to there. Yeah. Let's go. Down to Stainhausen. I shouldn't have bothered trying that contract. Waste of time. This place can just get burnt to the ground. I'm not fighting goblins. On a ridiculous map. Mossy Shelter again could be goblins, so we're not going to do it. Drive off brigands at Crumbled Watchtower. Now that we can do. Southwest of Steinhausen. That we can do no problem. We can kill brigands all day long without an issue. It's, um... Goblins and stuff like that we need to worry about. Again, orcs aren't too bad as long as there's not huge numbers of them. A sword master, lots of raiders, many brigand marksmen. Sword master is going to be a serious threat. So we're going to take a thrower to deal with him. Only question is who comes out. Probably you, you're the most squishy. Yeah, you can come out, you've also got an injury. I think we'll do that again, you can come out because you've got an injury as well. I think we'll do that. Swap the armor so you're more tanky. Because you're the squishiest and that armor reflects it. Now this guy's super tanky. He's got 40 defense. Yeah, he can stay in the front and we're going to have another thrower back here. Like that. So we've got two throwers. The thrower can deal with the sword master. I wonder if the sword master will have anything good. Swordmasters have tons of melee attack and melee defense, but no range defense, so you just use throwers to kill them. That's what throwers are best at. Killing swordmasters. Is that the leader? Yeah, it is. And he's shit. You can step to there for now. You can join him. You can step to there. You can step to there. You can step to there. Where we can go there. Where's the swordmaster? Generally, the swordmaster just has one. Just he's a duelist usually. Okay, I can't seem to see him for some reason. Normally, the swordmaster is a duelist. He doesn't have a shield. He just has two hands on his sword, so he can mess stuff up really quickly.
yeah, four people we still can't see, so... I'm guessing one of them is the Swordmaster, at least four or five people we can't see. the Swordmaster? No. What are you? Brigand Raider. Still haven't found him yet. 62%, 77. I'll definitely get this guy. Let the killing commence. There's the Swordmaster. Here, Grace to summon the Swordmaster. Just step forward and attack. Just attack. You're stuck on him, so you might as well attack. Good hit. You're going to come up here so that the Swordmaster can't flank too much. 75% chance to hit. Good. 45, 48, we're going to go for the guy closest. You have a military pick, I see. There, how about you have a hammer instead? Bam! Miss. Shield walks, the sword is going to step in probably and attack. I was hoping for a headshot there. Okay, this guy needs to back out. Emmerich two-handed needs to get the fuck out of there. Unfortunately, I don't think he'll be able to. I think this guy's going to step in. Yeah. That's annoying. And my other tank's out, because I brought two throwers instead. Go for this guy, please kill him. Thank you. Oh man, I forgot how good the throwers were. I missed them. Swordmaster's done. We're going to step up and try and disarm him. Yeah, he needs to get the fuck out of there. Eight percent chance to hit. You can step up because this guy's about to leave and you need to replace him. Sixty-nine percent chance for an instant kill, thank you. can get the hell out. I think the Swordmaster is just going to go past and try and go around. Because these guys are all tied up now. If he goes around, he could create a real issue. This guy's getting beaten up now as well. Yeah, he needs to leave as well. Get rid of that bozo. Oh good, he's coming back down. Ah. 
Unfortunately, disarming the Swordmaster is a nightmare. Might as well go for the leader. Go for him. Oh, I should have gone for the Swordmaster. Use get out of here. 75. Oops. Oh, that was 61. I thought it said 81. The Swordmaster doesn't have anything special. I don't care if we don't engage him, to be honest. Let us go and lock down the archers. No, because I reckon the Swordmaster will come in. Let's go here and attack him. We can definitely get back. Don't care if any of them get away, to be honest. None of them have any good loot. The Swordmaster doesn't have anything special. He's just got a noble sword. Seventy-three percent chance to hit. Okay, I need you to hit those, not miss, because you are only defense against this guy. You can come up and get ready to throw at him. You can try and disarm him. You're gonna fail though. Yeah. That's the leader done. Now that he's dead, you. Now that he's lo lo not dead, but um. Latched is the word I'm looking for. You can come around and start chasing the archers. You can go for him. You can move straight into the middle of the archers. You can stay back. Uh, yeah, you can go straight into the archers. You stay back. I thought he'd get away. I don't care, I just want to lock the archers down, stop them firing and doing any more attacks because they're devastating at the moment. I didn't know he could do that. That is really bad. I had no idea he could do that. Good, he's broken. We need to disarm him for the love of goodness. We need to come back and start trying to get this guy. You're a tank, so you need to come over here. Let's go here. Let's come here and see if you can pull out. That and attack him, good. Next, I'm going to find out he's got bloody quick hands. Kill. Oh, but it's definitely the hero of that one. Piece of cake, we took a bit more damage than I would have liked, but there were so many crossbowers, it's inevitable if we attack during the day, there's nothing you can do. You just get crossbow bolted loads, no one dies, so that's the main thing. 
It's over. Yeah, we've got the noble sword, that's the main thing. Everything else was trash. Repair the noble sword, repair the mace, repair the military pick. And that's it. Everything else was garbage. Right, you can come off. You can come off. You can switch back to there. You can go on. You can go on. Who got? You got damaged and you got messed up. So you can swap with him for the night time being. Right, let's go. Any tools? Yes, two lots of tools. I suppose that will do. The selling price is like not great. Okay, on with to Eisengrab. 34 tools. 28, yeah, we don't have enough tools yet still. First Dinnenfest company. Defending against raiding parties, again, it could be goblins. I don't particularly want to deal with that. You know, that's the thing, you don't know what you're going to get. It says when you defend Isengrab and its outskirts, it could be orcs, could be undead, could be brigands, could be goblins, could be anything. And you just don't know, it's not worth the risk, quite frankly. Most of the time, especially because the pay's not great. Oh, good, cheap tools. Right, how are we looking? Much better, everyone's healed apart from these two. One of them needs to come out for this guy anyway, because we're about to do undead. We're not going to go near Ocean of Bones. Last time I checked, there were necromancers, necro servants. We're not ready to deal with necro servants yet. We could be ready to do Sanctum of the Dark Arts. Let's go to Hemelm first. We need time to heal those other two men. And then once we've visited Hemelm, we'll go north to Sanctum of the Dark Arts. There's also that. Ruins of something or other. Still pay accept. Follow the tracks for 7.30 is a waste of time. Sort of crowns. Kill more in green skins around Stainhouse. And again, could be goblins. Not interested. Marketplace, any tools? Yes, but they're ridiculously expensive for no reason. How are you looking? You're just missing a bit of health. We're missing a bit of armor and health, so swap. Emmerich, you can come off. You can go on. Yeah, I think we're good. 40, 32, 47. Yeah, Emmerich's got way more defense. Hans the Slaughter has a lot more attack. But not as much defense. Okay, let's go up and check Sanctum of the Dark Arts. This is probably going to be a very late game fight. We're talking Necroma. Oh, we've got undead. Plethora of armored zombies. Not going to deal with them. Just go around. Necromancers, some fallen heroes, some guys, and a plethora of armored wager gangers. Okay, so we definitely need the sniper in here. We need the bannerman. Need the sniper. You can come out. You can go in. We need Whitman as well in the front lines, dealing with. Geist, so actually you can come out, you can go in. Whitman in the middle dealing with Geists as they approach. Sniper at the 
middle to deal with the necromancer. Sniper has the bird as well, good. You can come off and you can come off because you're both injured. Right, this is going to be one hell of a fight. So let's see if we can do it. We should be able to. 21 of them. Let's use the bird. Find out where the necro is. He's up there. Okay, so we need to bring the archer up to here. Good, we go mostly first. Uh, let's come up to the tree. Shit, we don't go mostly first. I was hoping we would. Now I've just moved three men into the middle of nowhere, basically. We're going to get surrounded immediately. Good, next unit. So he's going to go there, 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 you're going to have to move there. Hopefully we can get our lines, line in order before they get to move. Shit, look at all those fallen heroes. Archer straight up. <coughs> Shit, the guys have started screaming before my bannerman's there. Not good. Whitman has to go in there. Bannerman can go up here. Sniper's going to go here, so we can go here. And you can go there. Lots of screamies, 66% chance, come on mate, fucking hell we need you to hit those. Whitman also needs to come out immediately because of this guy. Should be focusing on the guys, what am I doing? to rally. Oh, fucking seriously. Fucking Whitman just getting hit non stop now. We're going to taunt him. Now the archer's got a much harder shot to make, but he makes it. That's better than nothing. Shit, that guy's doing so much damage. 65% chance to hit, is that all? Oh, you're my, you're my lowest rank guy, okay. That's fair. Definitely start clearing these guys off. Two didn't rally, that's an absolute joke. That was a terrible rally. This is not going well at all. The RNG is absolutely dicking us. Yep, just like that. We're getting seriously bad RNG on this as the start goes.
can't believe these idiots are running from the geists like this. Pull out your badass sword, start cutting. Ah. Fucking whip man is just getting hit constantly. He needs to shield wall at this point. What a fucking joke. He's got like 40 defense. And he's been hit every single time so far. Well, I thought we could do this one. Turns out we can't. Looks like Whitman's going to die. Probably another Alt F4 situation. Oh, I forgot about this guy. It's lucky I brought him, actually. Lucky I left him there, because... Whitman's dead. Guy still hasn't rallied. <sighs> Fucking ridiculous. Every single attack has hit him. Well, not every single, but almost every single attack has hit him. I just want to check what his, his actual defense is. His def oh, his defense is only 32, that's why. And I made him nimble, that was really stupid. He is supposed to be on the back lines. Let's see if we can get him there. No, he's dead. No, this is another Alt F4 situation. I shouldn't have put him on the front line against so many, but it doesn't matter. These idiots are running from the guys. We'll just see how many other people die. Finally, a fucking kill. To be fair, that was my mistake. I shouldn't have, with, against so many zombies and, and heroes and stuff, I shouldn't have put Whitman on the front line. I should have kept, kept him in the back line. That was a real noob error. I don't know why I put him on the front line. Not that it matters because these idiots are falling apart from the geists. And they won't fucking rally, thank you. Like this guy's lost most of his armor just from trying to run away. And him clonking him as well. So he's gonna die too. I don't think we're ready for this one again. We're not quite ready. It's really irritating because we're at the point of being almost unstoppable. But just a couple of places like this are just beyond our reach. We just need a few more levels.
I don't know why I'm carrying on with this. Let's load the auto save. That's four save scums. Once again, overestimating the abilities of our company. We can't do that one yet. Not without someone dying, or at least a couple of people dying at any rate. It's going to be coming off. We can go down there. Slaughter can go in there. Uh, so let's come down to Zim and Fest and just sell all our shit. Not quite powerful enough to deal with these two camps yet. I think Bard RNG just fucked us on that one a bit as well from the very beginning. Yeah, tool prices, prices here aren't great. Let's just sell anyway, get rid of all our junk. Yeah, RNG completely fucked us on that from the very start. Uh, tools we need two, four, six. One hundred, two, four, six. Any armor worth buying? Nope, we're saving up for special items, obviously, because that's the only armor that's worth buying, or weapons that's worth buying. Rondel Dagger will pick up, because they're quite hard to come by and they're very useful for puncturing enemies down. I prefer them there, actually, since there's two in the middle. The two weak tanks can go in the middle and look after each other. Uh, you've got the Quetel Dagger. I don't know why I'm looking for men at the moment. We just need to train up the men that we've got. He really botched his defense rolls, didn't he? Well, 21 isn't bad, I suppose. Yeah, he averaged his defense rolls. Yeah. Still, he's got 436 defense, which is almost as much as the rest of these guys. He shouldn't have been getting mashed as much as he did. Like, pretty much every hit hit him then. move on to Wissenmark. Oh wait, there's this place over here we can do. Let's check that out. Ruins of Blackwatch Keep. Plethora of some fallen heroes and some gnashing, is that, that'll be easy. No geists to worry about, so you can come off, you can go on. Just gnashing us and a couple of fallen heroes, no problem. But this is what's so irritating about the game when you get to this point. The camps, the camps that you can do, like this one, aren't worth doing because they don't net you anything but money. And the camps that are worth doing, they give you special items, just eradicate you, just crush your men. 
And you spent ages ranking these men up. You don't want to lose them. I suppose you could sacrifice a couple of men to get a really powerful, unique item. But a lot of the times, you don't get anything from doing the camps. You're not guaranteed a unique item. And then you end up losing a bunch of men for it for no reason. We're just going to wait with everyone. Here come the Nashingers. It's actually quite a lot more than I anticipated. It's going to be a bit harder to fight than I thought it would be. Especially if the Nashing has managed to get hold of a corpse and start ranking up. Which is perfectly possible. Serious damage on that dagger when you do that. start working on that one. Massive hit to get rid of all his armor, good. It's just immediately taken by another one.
you can definitely hide back here and wait for because these guys are gonna these guys are gonna wrap around 